So one of the things we've been talking about with methods is this idea of being able to reuse the code. And this actually, you know, we add a new $5 word to the uh, kind of vocabulary, and it's known as modularizing. I Even I take a second to get it properly uh, said, but this idea of modularizing. What's actually going on here is what we are looking at is the fact that now, instead of me having to copy and paste something like the distance formula over and over again, I have it in one, I have it in one spot, and now if I have any problems, I can fix it in my one spot, not you know in one spot, and then I gotta copy and paste it again, and then again, you know, I'm lazy, wanna do one thing once. So let's actually implement this uh, distance method for a second. So what we could look at is, again, I've already kind of built out the basic portion, but again, I don't even care about my main method. The first thing I care about is making myself a method for the distance formula. So again, if we think about how we've kind of discussed it earlier, I want to go ahead and design out this method that is going to return back a double and then I'm going to just call it because again we're designing out the distance formula again start with the structure worry about the code in just a second now I have some parameters that I have to use I have four parameters a double x1 a double y1 a double x2 and a double y Two. All right, so we've taken care of that. That's pretty nicely done. Now, what we can do is we can start to do that mathematical equation. You know, this guy that's just looming over us. Again, just like we saw when we were doing this inside the main method, tackle this in smaller chunks. I actually like to write it out like this double x because I'm going to do first that. Uh, formula for x2 minus x1 math dot pow x2 minus x1 2 that takes care of all of the uh, problems of just dealing with that all wrapped up into a nice little bow now since I've built that and luckily again Notice how similar that is to the Y formula. I can just take this line, copy, and paste. Now all I have to do is replace X with Y. And I've already tackled you know, this portion and this portion. Pretty nice. Now what I can do is I can finally calculate out the distance. Now, for my sake, I don't recommend naming it distance. Don't you know? Don't put distance inside the distance because I'm already using that name here. I don't want to name uh, the variable inside the method the same thing as the method's name. It, it, in my opinion, it gets a little too confusing. So I, I would recommend more maybe a shorthand. Uh, dist equals math dot sqrt the square root x plus y. And guess what? That takes that equation now and it just kind of has built it out. I now have the distance formula. But again, I have to return, I have to re return, return something here. Otherwise, all of that goes for naught. And not to mention, you know, Java is actually going to complain because I don't have a return statement. Well, the entire purpose of this was to return the distance between these two points, so why don't we just return dist? Now, this tiny little program exists only in its tiny little world. I need to go ahead and design out something inside of my main method. Now, I've got a few different things I can think about. If we do collision detection again, uh, we had a few different variables. We had a double uh, a x I'll call it x we'll say 5 uh, we had a double uh, a y which was also 5 so it was at the 5 5 point we had a double b x which was also at the 5 but that double b y was at the 
zero. Now all of a sudden, all right, just let's see what the distance formula for this is, A and B. All right, well, what do I do? Well, again, I need to probably store this for later use. So dist A, B is going to equal the distance from A, X, A, Y, B, X, B, Y. And what happens is AX is going to get renamed to X1. AY is going to be renamed to Y1. BX is going to be renamed to X2. BY is going to be renamed to Y2. Again, all right, well, let's just do a system.out.println on this. I like to you know, do print statements all over the place. That way I can just test this out. And so if we then bring out our console and we test out our program compiles fine all right excellent and if we go ahead and say Java test five we know that that's true because if we think about it uh, here's the five five point here's the five zero point yes actually it would be here here's the five five point here's the five zero point uh, what I'm doing is I now have five I know that that's a value I know that's right well let's add in my character all of a sudden double CX and I believe we said he was at zero and then double CY was at one actually I think there we go because this if we remember correctly if uh, I had a little bit of a let me draw this out a little bit for us just for a moment here's five five here's five zero that's a line that's a terrible line that's the worst line ever in line making class that was a little better but then we also say we got a point right here five one so no I don't want to save that five one well again because we're lazy programmers copy paste instead of this being a B this is gonna be C A this is gonna be C B C C A A C C B B. So now, all right, well, let's keep that distance formula for AB and then let's take another one and do it for CA. And if we remember how collision detection kind of worked, if I take CA plus CB, and if those two added together equal AB, I'm all set. Now, the beautiful thing, again, look at this. I'm reusing that distance method that we've just created. I only had it set once and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's actually take a look at this now. Java C, compiled perfectly fine. Java test, 5, 5, collision detected. 